Hello guys. Uh, welcome to Sir Rex Tutorials. Okay, and topic natin for today will be about the introduction to H problem, no? Okay, puro worded problems lang to, guys, no? Okay, regarding uh, the H problem. So, the discuss natin dito will be the terminologies used uh, sa kada time frame, sa past age, sa present age, sa future age. Okay, the discuss din natin yung pag-create ng table. Okay, uh, para guys, makapag-formulate tayo ng equation. So, terminologies muna tayo guys. Okay, ano ba yung mga terminologies na ginagamit natin sa bawat, uh, sa bawat time frame? So, sa, sa past age muna tayo. Okay, kapag past age, okay, ang babantayan natin guys yung term na years ago. Okay, yung mga auxiliary verbs na was, were. Okay, pwede rin phrase na was at that time. In the last years, no? Okay, so, dito, okay, parang pinakatitignan lang natin talaga, guys, is yung tenses na auxiliary verb. Okay, present age, ayan, no? Is are, naka-present tense, no? Okay, ages today, ages now, at present. Okay, and then lastly, future age, okay, ito yung mababantayan nating term, years hence, years from now, years after, Tsaka, yung future tense ng auxiliary verb natin na will. So, jump tayo guys sa uh, problem number one. Okay, sabi dito, Here lies Japantus, the wonder behold. Through art algebraic, the stone tells how old. Okay, God gave him boyhood, one-sixth of his life. One-twelve more as youth while whiskers grew rife. And then, yet, one-seventh, Our marriage began. Okay, in five years, there came a bouncing new son. Alas, this dear child of master and sage, okay, attained only half of his father's full age. When chill fate took him, an event full of tears. Okay, heartbroken, his father lived just four more years. Okay, how long did Japantis live? Okay, so ito parang poem, no? Okay, na age problem. So, paano ba natin isasolve yung mga ganitong klaseng problem, guys? Okay, iisa-isayin natin yung mga phrase na binanggit, no? Okay, na may algebraic expression. Okay, so first, dito muna, guys, no? Okay, God gave him his boyhood one-sixth of his life. Okay, sabihin natin, let natin X be his entire life, no? Okay, so, yung 1-6 of his life will be x over 6. Okay, may binanggit pa. Sabi, 1-12 more as youth while whiskers grew rife. Okay, so, nag-spend daw siya ng youth days niya, 1-12 of his life. Okay, so, add natin yung x over 12. Next. And then, yet, 1-7th year marriage began. Okay, so, 1-7th daw, okay, yung in-spend niya for his marriage. Okay, and then, in five years, so dagdag na five years, there came a bouncing new son. Tapos, attained only half of his father's full age. Okay, kalahati lang, no? Na, 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 na nung tatay, kalahati lang nung buhay ng tatay, no? Okay, nabuhay yung anak. Okay, then, for another four years, okay, si, yung father niya namatay. Okay. Okay, yung mismong si Japantus na matay. So, ito guys, will equate to his entire life. Okay, so lahat ng X, gawin natin guys, i-grupo natin sa right side. Lahat ng walang X sa left side. Okay, so ito na lang matitira. Factor out natin yung X. Then, divide natin both sides doon sa nakaparentesis. So, X natin will be equal to 9 all over 1 minus 1 over 6. Minus 1 over 12, minus 1 over 7, minus 1 half. Kung ita-type natin ito sa calcio, guys, ang maging value na x or h na Japantus will be equal to 84 years old. Ito, guys, isa sa mga sikat na h problem. No? Okay, madalas, di na tayo nahihirapan no? okay, sa mga ganitong type ng problem. Okay, pero pag nakita nyo si Japantus, 84, agad, 84 na agad yan, guys. No? Joke lang. Okay, uh, pwedeng baguhin yung mga fraction na binanggit yan, guys. Okay. 
Then, ito pa isa sa mga pinakasikat na age problem, no? Okay, problem number two. Mary is 20 year, 24 years old. Mary is twice as old as Anna was when Mary was as old as Anna is now. Okay, how old is Anna now? Okay, so, ganito yung mga was when, was when problem, na no? Pag nakita na tayo na ganitong problem, asuko na. No? Okay, minsan ayaw na nating isolve, no? Okay, pag ganitong problem, guys, maganda mag-create tayo ng table. Okay, so, ito yung si Mary, si Anna, sa row, okay, and then sa mga column, kung ano man yung time frame. Okay, ah, meron tayong auxiliary verbs, ang tenses nila, naka-present yung is, tsaka past yung was na term. Okay? Luckily, binigay na yung age ni Mary na 24. Okay? Ang kailangan natin makuha, yung age ni Anna ngayon. Let natin yan na X. Tapos guys, kapag nakita kayo ng term na was when, okay, ganito yung gagawin natin. No? Kukunin natin yung phrase, okay, or statement after nung term na when. Yun yung magiging reference time frame natin. This one. Mary was as old as Anna is now. Okay, so, dapat yung edad ni Mary noon is parehas na edad ni Anna ngayon. So, yung edad ni Mary nung past, kailangan parehas na kay Anna. So, let natin to guys na X. Okay? Then, saka tayo guys pumunta doon sa phrase, okay, before ng when. Okay, so, ang phrase na yun, sabi niya, Mary is twice as old as Anna was. Okay? So, paano ba ito, guys? Na sabi natin yung is, that is the present age. Okay, Mary is. Okay, Anna was, that is the past age. So, yung edad ni Mary ngayon, dapat doble ng edad ni Anna noon. Okay, so kung edad ni Mary ngayon is 24, and yung edad na yan, doble ng edad ni Anna noon, okay, nung past age. So, dapat edad ni Anna must be, 12, no? Okay? Para makonsider na yung edad ni Mary ngayon is doble ng edad ni Anna noon. Okay? Dito, guys, ang pinakatatandaan natin ng age gap, lagi lang constant. Mapa-present age man yan, mapa-past age man yan, mapa-future age man yan. Okay? Ang age gap natin lagi lang constant. So, kina natin yung age gap sa past, okay, which is x minus 12, yung age ni Mary tsaka ni Anna, And kunin natin yung age gap nung present. Okay, which is 24 minus x. Dahil constant lang naman yan, guys, inequate natin. Solving for x, makukuha natin, guys, edad ni Anna equal sa 18 years old. Be careful sa ganitong problem, guys. No? Okay, uh, uh, minsan nadadali tayo sa mga ganitong problem. Uh, minsan pinagtatalunan pa ito, no? Okay, yung ganitong klaseng age problem. I-tweak natin ng konti, guys. Okay, almost the same dito sa problem. Na, pero ganito yung term. Mary is 24 years old. Mary was twice as old as Anna was when Mary was as old as Anna is now. Okay, how old is Anna now? Okay, so paano naman yung gagawin kapag ganito, guys? No? Okay, consider ko ulit ng table. Luckily, si Mary is 24 years old. Binanggit na. Let natin na age ni Anna be X. Tapos, okay, sabi doon guys, after ng term na when, Mary was as old as Anna is now. Same lang. Okay, dito na guys, magkakaiba, no? Ang sabi doon sa term, before ng word na when, Mary was twice as old as Anna was. Yung edad ni Mary noon, katulad, ah, doble ng edad nung edad ni Anna nung nakaraan na yun, no? Okay, so kung edad ni Mary noon is doble ng edad ni Anna nung nakaraan na yon. okay, so dapat edad ni Anna must be, okay, doble yung kay Mary, ah, so it must be x over 2. Okay, so papasok pa rin dito, guys, sa h gap na constant. So, x minus x over 2, h gap ng past, equal dapat, guys, sa 24 minus x, which is Uh, h gap nung present age. Okay, solving for x. Makukuha naman nating value na x ito, guys, is equal to 16 years old. Okay, so, be careful, guys, no? Okay, yung term na Mary is twice, tsaka Mary was twice. Okay, last problem na tayo, no? 
for our age problem. Albert is as old as Brian will be when Albert is twice as old as Brian, as Brian was, when Albert's age was half the sum of their parents' age, uh, present ages. Brian is as old as Albert was when Brian was half the age he will be 10 years from now. How old are, Arbor, are Albert and Brian? So, dito guys, ang daming when na term, no? Ilang when ba yung ginamit yan? 1, 2, 3. Okay, 3 na when na term. So, ang daming reference time frames, no? Okay, doon muna tayo sa first statement, guys. Construct muna tayo ng table. Okay, actually, tatlo yung tenses ng verb natin dito, no? May present, may future, okay, may past age. No? Okay, so doon muna tayo sa first paragraph, guys, no? Okay? Uh, doon sa pinakaunang when. Okay, ang binanggit doon, uh, let muna natin X be the age of Albert. Y be the age of Brian. Okay, tapos doon tayo, guys, sa pinakadulong when ng first paragraph. Albert's age was half the age of their present ages. Okay, yung edad daw ni Albert noon, okay, is kalahati lang nung sum nung ages nila ngayon. Okay? So, add natin yung dalawang age nila, then divide natin by 2. Yun yung magiging past age ni Albert. Then, guys, kunin natin yung years ago. Okay? Uh, mula sa present age ni Albert, okay, i-minus natin doon sa past age niya. Yan yung magiging years ago. No? So, magiging x minus x plus y all over 2. Further simplifying this, so ang years ago natin, kung babalik tayo ng taon, is x minus y all over 2. So yung edad ni Brian noong nakaraan, it must be y minus x minus y all over 2. Further simplifying this, equivalent lang din yan guys kay 3y minus x all over 2. Plug in natin dito sa table. Yan yung edad ni Brian noon. Alright, so... Doon naman tayo, guys, sa gitnang statement, okay? Gitnang expression. Sabi, Albert is twice as old as Brian was. Okay, sir, di ba present yan? Albert is twice. Kaso, guys, meron na tayong naka-plug in na, plug in na variable para sa present, okay? Which is yung x. Okay, so ito guys, iuusog natin sa future, no? Okay, yung term na yan na Albert is twice as old as Brian was. No? Okay? So kapag dinoble kasi natin yung edad ni Brian noon, that will be 3y minus x. No? Okay, so lagay natin sa future, no? Okay, na age ni Albert. Okay, yung 3y minus x. Okay? Then, kunin natin guys yung... Okay, ah... Uh, years na mag elapse bago niya ma-attain uh, ma yung uh, bago ma ni Albert yung age na 3y minus x. Okay, so years hence, that is 3y minus x minus x. Okay, so yung magiging na guys, yung years after, it must be 3y minus 2x. Okay, so para makuha natin guys, yung edad ni Brian in the future, that must be y plus 3y minus 2x. Or simply, 4y minus 2x. Plug in natin dito. Okay. Sabi guys, dun sa first statement, Albert is as old as Brian will be. Okay. So, itong dalawa dapat mag-equal. Equate lang natin. x is equal to 4y minus 2x. Therefore, 3x minus 4y is equal to 0. Okay. So, yan yung magiging first working equation natin. Okay. Dun naman tayo sa second statement. Ito guys, ito yung second statement, no? Brian is as old as Albert was. When Brian was half the age, he will be 10 years from now. Okay, so paano yung gagawin sa ganito, guys? No? Okay, construct ulit tayo ng table. Let ulit natin na present age nila, ni Albert BX, ni Brian BY. Okay, then future age nila 10 years from now. Si Albert is X plus 10, si Brian Y plus 10. Okay, tapos... Uh, sabi nung term na when, Brian was half the age, he will be 10 years from now. Okay, so, edad ni Brian 10 years from now is y plus 10. So, dapat, edad niya nung nakaraan must be, kalahati lang nun, y plus 10 all over 2. Kunin natin guys yung years ago. Ganun ulit. Yung y minus natin ng y plus 10 all over 2. 
Therefore, yung years ago will be y minus 10 all over 2. So, kunin natin guys yung h ni Albert nung past. That will be x minus y minus 10 all over 2. Further simplifying this, equal lang din yan kay 2x minus y plus 10 all over 2. Lagay natin din sa table. Ayan. After ng term na win, sabi niya guys, Brian is as old as Albert was. Okay. So, yung edad ni Brian ngayon, Okay, kaparehas ng edad ni Albert nung nakaraan. Okay, ito yung equate natin na dalawa. So, gagawin natin y is equal to 2x minus y plus 10 all over 2. Further simplify, cross multiply natin. Na? Okay, so further simplifying this, ang makukuha natin equation is negative 2x plus 3y is equal to 10. Okay, uh, plug in ulit natin yung first equation nung kanina. Yung 3x minus 4y is equal to 0. Okay, further sim ano guys, i-equate natin ito by two equations to unknowns, system of equations natin. So, makukuha natin value ni x and value ni y will be 40 and 30 respectively. So, edad ni Albert will be 40 years old, edad ni Brian will be 30 years old. Alright, so hanggang dun lang yung topic natin about the H problem. Okay, sana marami kayo natutunan, no? Okay, and don't forget to like the, this video, okay, and subscribe this channel.